In horse racing, disappointment is a way of life. Even the most successful owners and the elite trainers lose far more races than they win. Yet the foundation of the sport is optimism that this might be your day. Can you be your best against the best at the biggest moment? Saturday, November 3rd. It's the big day. We've all been waiting for all year. This is all what we work for. We just wait. Wait for that big moment. Mind your biscuit is feeling real good. He just has to prove himself that he's the best horse on the planet. He will show up and run his race. This horse has taken me all over the world. Whenever I thought I'd go Dubai twice, California, Chicago, Florida, I mean, you name it. He's an amazing animal. He's going to Japan as a stud. I'm probably never ever going to get to see him again. I'm going to miss him. I'm happy and I'm sad at the same time. You know, you get emotional over these animals, you know? I think they're like humans in a different frame. You know? He's very intelligent. Look, I was saying he won't even kick me, because he knows. Right, boy? You think? You know I'm talking about you, right? For two days, under the twin spires of Churchill Downs, 13 world champions have been crowned. More than $20 million won. Dreams have been realized. Stormy Liberal back to back. And denied. As they come down to the wire, line of duty. Now only one race remains. Six million dollars on the line. Months of planning and training by devoted owners and trainers have led to this most anticipated moment. With the best horses in the world at the gate. They're off in the Breeders' Cup Classic. On this richest, most prestigious weekend of the year, racing season's crescendo has arrived. The Breeders' Cup Classic is just moments away. I remember as a kid going to parties, you know, 12, 13 years old, and I'm sneaking into the bathroom to, to watch Cigar run in the, in the Breeders' Cup. This is the day we've been gearing up for our whole lives. You know, who knows? We're not those big outfits where, yeah, next year we're back with so-and-so. You know, who knows when we're back here? Horses are very, very smart animals, and they pick up on anything. They pick up on the excitement and the nervous and, and the anxiousness and everything, so. Just kind of remain as low key as we possibly can. And you know, no matter what happens today, you know, this horse owes us nothing and we're so proud of him. We're ready for this race. He has a new suit or a lost weight? Which one are you going with? The latter, that's not nice. <laughs> it's been a hell of a journey, guys. Let's do it. I'm a pretty logical guy. I, you know, I, I don't really uh, allow myself the luxury of dreaming. Take things a step at a time, and the horse has earned his way here, and you know we didn't want to interfere with that. It was a long journey. Yeah, this is what we left for to get to this point. If we win it, I'll be ecstatic. Or if we run second, I'll still be happy. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, I'll still be happy. This is new to me. I'm trying to figure out what we're doing. And trainer John Sadler will send out Accelerate. Earlier today, Sadler had a crushing defeat in the dirt mile with Catalina Cruiser to run his Breeders' Cup record now to 0 for 43. Maybe Accelerate will be the one to finally get him out of that slide. He's the favorite at 5 to 2. Wow, the sport dominated by millionaires and partnerships. Here's a mom and pop self-made story, a family enriched by the sport, today getting one shot at greatness on the sport's biggest weekend. Right, let's go win it. Let's go win it, big daddy, you know him. 
Traverse Stakes has produced two of the last three Breeders' Cup Classic winners. That bodes very well for Catholic Boy, this year's Traverse winner. Now he's trained by Jonathan Thomas. The victory today in the Breeders' Cup Classic would be the biggest in Thomas's career. Mind your biscuits. A top-class sprinter trying to add a mile and a quarter classic. Is it rare? Yes. Impossible. Surely not. Okay. We're all day for this. Yeah, yeah. Right. They're gonna go and then they're gonna try and take a spot yeah. with Thunder Snow, but he's gonna push it. Catherine Boy's gonna push it. You know, exactly. Mendelssohn goes four wide. He does a four wide. You know, accelerate whatever. You got it. You know what you yeah, go get it. All right, let's go. Hell yeah. This is what we've been waiting for, dog. We're good. All right. All right. Look out, guys. Look out, guys. Everybody back up. Everybody back up. Pavel the Eighth started last year in the Classic, finished next to last, since has earned a grade one win. It was here in the Stephen Foster on a hot night this past spring. Yeah, the Stephen Foster effort uh, led us to where we are right now, and uh, we're feeling it. He's doing super and ready to uh, run a huge race. The biggest names in the sport are on hand with a chance to add to their legendary careers. And then there's Accelerate, who has already shown enough horsepower to outrun everything in his way. He's run the fastest this year of any horse in the field. The question is, did he run his best already? The global betting public has made Accelerate the favorite. Now the stage is set and the hopes of the owners and trainers comes down to the next few minutes. Paul, where do you uh, see us sitting? Where would you say, going into the turn or out of the turn? I think we'll be sitting like six, seven, something like that. Okay. It's game time. Let's do this. Sailor was off to a slow beginning, and Mendelssohn is sent out of there by Ryan Moore to... Perfect. Follow Accelerate. Come on, team. Game plan A. Right there. Perfect. It's it's right off Accelerate. Accelerate will be fifth in the early stages, and now he's going to come to the inside to save a little bit of ground. And it's Roaring Lion, followed by Pavel. Mind your biscuits, six lengths off the lead through a flashy opening quarter mile in 22.68 seconds. Very, very fast for this distance. Catholic Boy is back around seven lengths off the lead at this stage. Then it's Axelrod, followed by Gunnavera. Yoshida, discreet lover, and long sailor at the back of the pack, but the pace could come on, them, 45. as Mendelssohn speeds to the back stretch in front. McKinsey, three quarters of a length off of him. Thunderstone and West Coast are together. Go ahead, keep, keep him in the bed. 46, 46, 46 and two, there, slow it down. has moderated somewhat. A length and a half back to Pavel. Catholic Boy is outside of horses with Mind Your Biscuits, and Axelrod is sent through inside of them. Gunnavera, 12 lengths behind at this stage, then Discreet Lover, Yoshida, and the trailer is Lone Sailor. All right, see, now put him into gear, G. They move into the front on, with Mendelssohn, McKinsey, West Coast, and now Accelerate makes it four across the track as they round the far turn. And then it's Thunderstorm running in fifth on the inside. Axelrod is sixth outside of them and under a drive. And then it's Pavel. Yoshida still about seven lengths behind, but he's on the incoming line. And they're into the stretch. And it's Accelerate. And on the inside, Mendelssohn, Thunderstorm. Roaring up between those two as they go by the end ball. Then Yoshida Axelrod. Gunnavera is closing in late. It is Accelerate. He's coming down to the 16th ball and run. gets his first Breeders' Cup win, the 45th time is the charm.
something bad. Good and everything. They say horse racing is the toughest game played outdoors. Today was an example of why. But I'll always be so proud of this horse and the journey that he's taken our team on. What does it mean to win this Breeders' Cup Classic, but specifically with John Sadler? Yeah, to win it with John Sadler is an honor for the Heron's family, no doubt. We're, we're very proud. We're just, we owe all this to John and uh, his great job and his team and everything he's done for horse racing. Enjoy it. Congratulations, Costa. Thank you very much. Mike, accelerate brilliant in the 35th Breeders' Cup Classic. It doesn't get any better than this. This is, this is a taste of heaven, no doubt. This, just this is the top of the game this is the, the world series and the super bowl all wrapped up into one just for us to play any little tiny part in john's success it means a lot to us extra sweet with all the doubters john can't win out, yes. out, out here yeah yeah it is actually yeah when they talk about john that's one thing but when they talk about accelerator take it a little personal <laughs> <laughs> Every year, there are surprises and upsets. That's what makes a sport so captivating. As for the Breeders' Cup Classic, aside from the riches, it offers prestige. It offers a place in history for that one horse who runs that one perfect race. So who's next? We'll find out next year at the 36th Breeders' Cup World Championships.